Sometimes our childhood dreams and aspirations do not align with the paths our life end up with. Yes, we see a lot of people say, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a surgeon, I want to be a footballer. But when reality hits you, you will know how far. But right now, reality have done on Olo Toby Phillips. And she have come out to say it. She says she cannot hide it. That Toby Phillips says she knows she was not destined to come to the palace. She knows she was not destined to marry a first class monarch. That it was Toby, it was only of Ife that forced her. So anything can be a C is seen now. That can be a C we have to face the consequences of what he forced her into because maybe she would have married to one sweet boy that they'll be doing on TikTok video together. They'll be doing what and Vicky James and her husband Femi were doing. That daughter was her ideal man. She wanted a man that they will show the world that there truly there is love because there is too much divorce in the world. As people are celebrating divorce, she, she wanted she where she and her husband would do get ready with me, where they will cook together, where they will be doing dress with me. We'll be going for event together that they will sit on a round table and be discussing. She said, but right now, she, the man that she even married, the KBAC, that you people will not allow her to sleep, that all those things she's not seeing with KBAC, all those things she is not seeing it with KBAC, and people are still here forcing her, and people are still here dragging her. That is, nobody should drag her, nobody should drag her. Toby Phillips says she never told anyone that she wanted to come to the palace. She never told anyone that she was destined for the palace. She never told anyone that she's coming to stay in the palace. That it was Kabiesi that dragged her to the palace. Yes. And there are evidence to suggest that her fate and destiny plays out in a romantic way. Because when Kabiesi saw her, she knew her past. She knew the things she have done. She knew that she, she's a woman that wants to hustle her own money. Yes. Toby Phillips says she's a woman that wants to hustle. She wanted to make her own money. She wanted to have her own mansion. Auntie, why didn't you have mansion before you met KBAC? You wanted to have your own mansion, but you did not have mansion until you met KBAC. KBAC now gave you a house. That is why you were running. You were trying to go and change the document into your own. They caught you. After catching you, now you're coming to tell us that you are not destined. Auntie, you must be destined by fire by force. All of a sudden, just realize that you are not destined to be in the palace. Since you know you are not destined to be in the palace. Why did you come to snatch Naomi's husband? Abi, you want to tell us that you did not know that Kabi is marrying Naomi? Because that is the excuse all the Oloris are giving. That they did not know that Kabi is marrying Naomi or Naomi will still come back. That Kabi is told them they were, they were temporarily separated. At least you people accepted that Kabi is told you guys that they were temporarily separated. Temporarily separated means they will still come back together. But even with that one, you people don't have sensology. Sense was still far from you people. Why some believe in destiny, faith, love, is responsible to bring, bring people together, others are arguing. And Toby Phillips said, since her fate is not to come to the palace and marry a big man, that if God have said Kabi Esi should bring the one to change her destiny, it's not a bad thing. And Kabi Esi have changed her destiny. And if you know how young girls used to hustle in Lagos, you will understand that she hustled. For Kabi Esi to even see her, it was hustle. Because there were so many ladies that day, but Kabi Esi saw her. And according to her, she said Naomi spirit, Naomi angel cover her. That's why Kabi Esi was able to see her, not other people. Because she said when Kabi Esi saw her, that the first thing Kabi Esi told her was, Oh, you look so much like my wife. You look so much like my, my woman that I've gone, Naomi. And that was when she started doing research. And she noticed that, oh, only used to have a wife and the woman's name is Naomi and the woman have gone and gone for good. She now noticed that Oni is a first class monarch, that she never knew Oni was a first class monarch. She wasn't somebody that was following Yoruba culture up and down. Auntie, as you know, why didn't you leave the man? Uh -uh. People just be treating things based on coincidence. Right now, you don't, now, now you are collecting basgos in the palace. You are lacking joy. You are lacking fulfillment. Now you feel you can come and use a different word and tell us it was only that first. Oh, if only force you to come and get a better life and stop hustling, is it a bad thing? Is it a bad thing that the man saw you? The man said, fine girl, fine girl. Don't hustle again. Come and get a better life. Come and stand strong. Come, let me make your life better for you. So as the man do bad thing. For me, KBAC did not do bad thing. If, if KBAC really said what she said, KBAC said she did. Is she that does not have sense, that could not key into the moment? Yes. <laughs> Is she that could not key into the moment when KBAC told her, come, come and, come and eat. 
It should have just come and mind her business the way Elizabeth minded her business. But no. Maybe Kabiesi is enjoying the trouble because I don't understand. Somebody that have opened her mouth to come and say, oh, you, 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 eh, eh, if it is me, I would have meow. But Kabiesi refused to meow. So what is this thing that these women are giving Kabiesi that Kabiesi don't want them to go? Because this thing that Toby Phillips has said, na, 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 is already enough to use it and hold her. But KBSC will still be here pretending like he's not hearing it. Ah, this woman just came into KBSC's life to cause cures, to cause dissatisfaction, and cause so many palabas in KBSC's life. And funny enough, these women are not even humble. If they are humble, we would have understood the matter. They are not humble, they are so irrational, they think only of themselves, they don't think of any other person, only about themselves. And as they are doing it, their weakness keeps coming out. As they are doing it, their weakness kept, sh uh, kept showing, but they will not have sense. Hey, my brothers, my sisters, oh, no be so more matter. No be so more matter. All of a sudden, they want to cry. All of a sudden, they want to cry. All of a sudden, they realize that Naomi is not their mate. Ah, ah. What God cannot do does not exist. Yes, so what God cannot do does not exist. Because it's the God of Naomi that is causing confusion in their midst like this. It's the God of Naomi that is letting them not to see road like this. Because make, make it make sense that after everything they did, after everything they did, this one is coming to open her mouth to say she is not destined for greatness. How can a woman be say she is not destined for greatness? You are not destined for greatness. And a man decided to bring you into greatness. What was expected of you? Is it not for you to come and enjoy the greatness? No, you don't want to enjoy the greatness. You wanted to bring her down. My brothers, my sister, no be small matter. Hey, <laughs> no be small matter. There are some things you hear like this. Eh? You tell yourself that, are these people really, really okay like this? Are these people really, really okay like this? You are not de 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 destined to be in the palace. Only you are fed it, she is not destined to be in the palace. So why bring somebody that does not want to stay in the palace? No wonder they are doing everything possible to bring Kabi Esi down. You are not destined to be in the palace, but you are destined to eat Kabi Esi food. You are destined to eat Kabi Esi money. You are destined, I don't understand. <laughs> my brothers, my sister, so don't be have told only. That the consequences only is seen is the consequences of only bringing her into where she did not belong. That's why some people are calling her streety streety. Some people are calling her all the other name. But me, I'm not calling her other name. I'm just saying she should appreciate where God put her. If God put you somewhere, appreciate where God put you and that is on period. Don't come and come and spoil things for every everybody. Because it's because of someone like you now. God is not going to want to help other people because they'll feel they're behaving like you. They will not know that it's only you that is like that. Hey, hey. I'll be super battle. See you guys later now. Do well to subscribe, like, comment, and bye for now.